everyone, it's Maisha and I'm back with another video. Today I decided to film a my five easiest ways to study. And when I was growing up, it was really hard for me to find ways to study that would make me motivated to study in the first place. And as I started growing up, when I went through high school, and since I'm in college now, I found the five ways that I can study best and it helps me the best to do well on a test or a quiz or just know your stuff before the test and the quiz. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so number one is flashcards. Um, you can have any kind of flashcards you want, but these are the flashcards I usually get, just plain white flashcards. And on the back is ruled lines right here for you. And what I like to do is I have kind of about three different things I use flashcards for. Um, flashcards aren't for every type of studying that you have. Flashcards are for specific studying that you can use flashcards for, like question and answer, not necessarily um, diagrams. I mean, you can put diagrams on flashcards. It would be a little hard, and I'm not exactly sure how you would even work that, but these are the three ways that I have here. So number one, you can put terms and definitions. Um, for example, when I, uh, my last class, last quarter, I had medical terminology, which is like learning about the um, different parts of a word in the medical field and deciphering it and kind of breaking it down to understand exactly what it is. So I would have to, for example, um, we could do uh, vaginitis, for example. You would put itis right here, and then on the back, you'd put inflammation because itis means inflammation so you can do it that way another way is math formulas or even like uh, physics or something I've seen that when I was in high school as well so you could put formulas um, maybe on this side and maybe exactly what the formula is on this side um, and number three is for history students um, you could put uh, like the date or like when did this happen and then you could put the year that it happened in the day in the month and I think that would be very beneficial so those are the three ways that I use note cards or you can call them flashcards if you want either one okay so number two on my list is find an online game there are many sites that will help you study they can help you study diagrams they can make a test for you and you can take the test um, but one of my go-to sites is Quizlet. I can show you the, what it looks like when you first go on the screen. If you just hit this button right here, it just says get started. And once you hit that, it'll ask you to sign up. I believe it's completely free and you can go ahead and search like different types of flashcards for a certain section you're learning. For example, if it's like a science class that you have the test in, if you typed in like mitosis, for example, I bet it would come up and it would show you exactly what you need. It would have flashcards, it would have games, and a whole bunch of just learning tools that'll help you study and it'll get you motivated and it's not boring at all. Um, unless you take like a quiz or something, it's not boring to just take the game, the, play the games or use flashcards. And it's easier than making flashcards if you wanted to do it that way as well. Okay, so my third tip is to make your own study guide. Now I know that, I know this sounds a little weird, like. You already took the notes, your teacher probably gave you a study guide, but it's so much easier for me, I've realized within the past like two to three weeks, is to take those notes or take that study guide, look over all of the information, and then find the information that you either don't know as well, or you think it'll be more difficult for you to retain that information. Um, so here are two of them I've made. I just started doing this about three weeks ago, so I only have two of them. They're from my anatomy and physiology class. Um, so this one here, I just like to use some colors sometimes and some highlighters every once in a while. Uh, this was for my nervous system test I just had. So as you can see, this one's pretty long, but that's just because this one was a really long chapter, just like that. Um, I will actually be making a video today, um, which probably won't be uploaded until tomorrow, the day after, um, on how to make these. So it, I'll have like a how-to video on this. Um, here's another one I made. So all you need for this is just some lined notebook paper. You also need some colorful pens. You could also just do like um, pencils or just regular pens. Um, but I have these here. There are some Sharpies in here as well as just some Bic pens. 
We got some uh, pastel colors as well. And here are some of the Sharpies. I don't really use the Sharpies on the notes as much, um, but just in case I need to make something stick out more to me, I'll put the Sharpies on there as well. So again, that's make your own study guide for number three. Okay, so number four, I'm guessing a lot of you have done basically all of your lives, as long as you've had friends or somebody in your class that you can talk to, is have a friend quiz you. Uh, I used to do this all the time, especially in elementary school or middle school um, with my parents. They would quiz me. I'd come home and my mom would quiz me on my assignments that I have to study in order to get a grades on the test. So, like I said, assignments, if you have any assignments in that chapter that you're going to be taking the test on, I would save those and use those as a study tool, as well as your study guide, as long as you have one, and also your notes. And the notes could be um, either written notes that you've taken, or um, even some teachers have like fill-in-the-blank notes. So any of those will work. Any kind of information your teacher gives you, hold on to that and just have some of your friends, family, anyone quiz you and that's really going to help you retain the information because they are speaking it out you're listening to what they're saying and you're verbally speaking it out as well so it makes it easier to learn that way when you hear at least for me hearing is how i learn so it just helps you retain the information more so that is number four is have a friend quiz you which i think is a really great tip okay so my last um, way to study is number five, which is use sticky notes. Um, now this one I haven't really used as much, but I've seen many people use it this way and I have a, like an abundance of sticky notes. So I think I'm going to start doing it this way. Um, I've done it a few times over the couple of years that I've um, been in high school slash college. I've used sticky notes on my notes, but um, a good way to use it is you can post it when you need to add something to your notes. So say your notes are perfect, like you writ them out so well, everything is so straight, and then you realize, oh my gosh, I didn't put this in that exact section right there, I'll have to go to a new page. Why not just grab a sticky note, stick it there, and have a little note for you so you don't have to ruin your nicely written out notes. Um, another way is to ask yourself a question about the notes. So say there was something confusing in there, or you just wanna ask yourself a rhetorical question about the notes. So you could say, like, if that you're making notes on, like, um, I don't know, flowers. I have some big flowers right here. First thing I ever, I don't know, first thing I saw. So say you're making notes um, on flowers. You could put a sticky note uh, on one of the sections, and you could say, what kind of flowers are these, question mark. And if there's, like, a picture of a flower or something, you're looking at it, and then you could think about that, say what it is, and maybe you'll find that answer in the notes as well. And that'll help you retain information as well. Another reason to use sticky notes for studying is to remember where you left off. I'll show you these ones here. This one's are really helpful. So these are like the little page or stopper sticky notes, I like to call them. Um, sometimes I like to put them wherever I stop reading, whenever I'm reading a textbook or just a regular book. I would put these where I stopped reading or if you're in a section or like a chapter in a book or something and you wanted to keep that section available for you, you just take one off and place it at the top, the side, or the bottom of the book and that'll help you find your place a lot quicker instead of just searching through and trying to find the page number. So I just want to show you the other sticky notes I have because I think these ones are really great. Also, everything that I have said um, will be listed in the description box below. So you'll have like the pens and everything. There's a lot of websites down there as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you these uh, sticky notes that I have. So these ones here, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, <clears throat> but they actually come apart. I think this is really cool. My friend, um, from one well, of my friends from college, actually bought these for me for Christmas. Um, so like they come together like this. I just think it's like really just kind of, it's, it's so simple that it just makes everything look nice. So you could take them apart and I wouldn't really use these for notes. I mean, you can, but I would use these as little reminders for myself, like leave them around like my desk or my room or something like that and just leave those there. I just think they look really cute. They're really modern looking and I really enjoy that. 
So the other one is um, just one of these here, just a regular post-it. It's a little bit more of a rectangle style than those ones. I can't, I don't actually have any uh, square ones. I believe they're in my book bag somewhere else. But um, these are the ones I just brought in because these are my favorite ones. So this is like a rectangle, and this is one I would use maybe to ask yourself a question. If the question's long enough, this one here. And then these ones, oh my gosh, these ones are my absolute favorite because they're so small, but they're so cute. I mean, look at these colors. Like, these are some damn good colors. So we got a nice pink here, a nice baby blue and a nice orange and I would never say nice orange because I really don't enjoy the color orange but um, this is a beautiful orange I mean really like that's a really cute orange so those are the sticky notes that I have and again that was number five which is my last tip it is uh, use sticky notes when you are studying use it when you need to add something to your notes use it when you need to ask yourself a question like a rhetorical question or something and use it to place where you left off Okay, so that is it for my five easy ways to study. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to make any more sort of study tips or school supplies videos or anything of the sort, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to see me more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting about three to four times a week doing hairstyle, makeup, study tips, and um, as well as lifestyle videos. So if you have any interest in those, I would really appreciate you to subscribe to my channel and comment on this video if you found any of these tips helpful as well or if you have anything that you would like to add to the tips video. Any ways you study that I maybe haven't thought of, I would love to know. I love studying. I love finding new ways to study that works for me. So if you have any that you think I would like, please leave them in the comments below. And again, everything you see here will be listed down below in the description box and as well as make sure you do have a notebook so I just want to show you this notebook I got from my school store it is so cute it's like a, a plastic sort of poly backing right here and I actually just use this for videos like to write down my video ideas in I also left this in the description box below so you can find it online somewhere so that's this right here I think it's so cute it's from uh, www.topflightpaper.com and the pages are huge. I mean, like, look at this page, like compared to me, like that's a huge page. Like this is a regular page. I don't know if you can see that. This is a regular page and that's that page. So these are super huge, lots of room. I would highly recommend getting a huge notebook like this. This is only one subject, by the way. So I thought I'd show you that. But um, again, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. See you next time.